the station R O U P E N. Last name B A S P A J I A N. Started homeschooling was uh, my son. He was he was born in January, January first, New, New Year's Eve. And uh, when we went to take him to kindergarten um, and the public school system, they advised that if uh, they can't take him in at that time because of his age, he had to go the following year. Um, they said if you homeschool for kindergarten, you could take him for first grade next year. So the public school kind of uh, pointed us into the homeschooling direction because we never really thought about that initially. And uh, we homeschooled our first like that through kindergarten. It worked out so well uh, with my schedule um, being erratic all over the place. And it worked out well for the family. Uh, we decided to give it a shot for first grade. And we did that. And uh, my second one, uh, my daughter, it was her time to go to school at that time. So we thought it'd be tough to do both. Um, we designated a room for it, and, you know, built the desks and the whole, everything else that, that goes with it. Um, so my wife, the one who basically took this thing by, by the horns and ran with it. Uh, sh she found that it was easier actually to do two than it was to do one uh, because the second one was learning a lot of the stuff from the first one. So um, there's a lot of curriculums that they, they offer. There's good ones. There's, you know, ones that kind of cover everything, if I can call it that. And, uh, my wife did all the research she had to, uh, to, to find out which one would work best for each kid because everyone learns different. Um, and, and then she found out, you know, which one worked for my son and what worked for my daughter. So she's been homeschooling now uh, for about five years, uh, uh, and it's been working out great. So we haven't had the, the desire to do the public school because it's worked out so well. When you said it works with your schedule, what, how is it that it works with your schedule? Well, my schedule is three on, three off. I, I work three days on, and uh, when I go to work, um, I could be going from 7 a.m. in the morning till about 9 p.m. at night. So I wouldn't come back and see see my kids for the three days. Uh, the following day, I could see my kids because we can adjust the times uh, however we want to. Uh, for example, we just went to New Hampshire. Uh, we left uh, Monday and came back Wednesday. I wouldn't be able to do that if they were in the public school system, but I was able to do that, avoiding the regular vacation where everyone else went. Um, you know, less traffic, less everything. It just It's just more quality time with the family. So with my schedule being uh, all over the place, uh, we can adjust their times to my time. Because as long as you put in, uh, my wife does about uh, two and a half to three and a half hours a day with, with, with them. Um, and, and it's based on what they're doing. Sometimes it's a lot longer. We have book reports where they have to read uh, two, three hours sometimes. So it's just based on whatever they have at that time. So we can adjust their schedule with us. So we skip a Friday and do it on Saturday, in, in a sense. So if you go on out of if you go on vacation and you're gone for those three days, are you still homeschooling? Most of the times we do. For example, um, at, at the stage they're in, um, like my daughter and my son both had a book report. Um, we actually timed it. They, they did about one hour of reading on the drive up there. So the, the van is quiet. They're studying. They're getting their, their time in. Um, my son also did math in the, in the car. We bring their math and stuff like that. So um, I know you have to put in 180 school days. Um, and I'm one to say, you know, homeschool is not for everybody. Um, you have to be a parent, whether it's a mom or a dad, whoever's capable. In my situation, I'm not capable. It's my wife. She does it all. Um, you have to be capable of being a fit homeschool mom or dad to do it. Uh, you have to be there for them because if not, you're robbing them of their education. As far as I'm concerned, as a homeschool parent, your kids should be far more educated than someone in a room with 30 people if you're doing it the right way because you're given that one-on-one -on -one quality time with that um, child and they have needs. Some areas they, they're excelling and some areas they're, they're hurting. And, and if you're in a public school system, you kind of go at the pace they set for you, not the pace that you're capable of. And you know, I find kids are very, um, they'll be nervous to ask and say, hey, can you go back? I didn't get that. And then they'll just pretend they know something that they don't and then they fail in the test. So. That, that's more benefits, I think, uh, as well. That was more of a question because the people we shared, we were on vacation for three days. We were in the middle of school. They didn't homeschool for three days. Oh, no, absolutely. So Do 
want me to be no, 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 you're fine. No, no, you did good. That's why I okay. asked you that follow-up question. Sure, sure. Was just to... Because there are people who say that, but yeah. that was good that we you said that. that. Or you can say we did educational things on the way up to here, and we saw things, we well, tried we, we, it we as do a lot of that, too. Like, every right. time we have something in our... Uh, curriculum yeah. that they're studying, if they're studying history, and they're studying the Gettysburg ad Address, or they're studying um, anything with uh, Plymouth, and, and, and it's like, like we go and visit those places, and they see it live firsthand, you know, like we, every trip we do covers all those areas as well, which has been pretty cool for us.